Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Monday, March 11th, 2024. Lance Brack here, welcoming everyone to the Monday morning episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Hope everyone had a great weekend and hope you've been having a great Monday morning so far. First of all, just want to start off this Monday morning episode talking a little bit about last night, WWE Superstar Sunday on A&E. First, we start off with WWE Rivals focusing on the rivalry between the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Which, I wouldn't say Rivals is really the best show ever. It's alright though. Sometimes I usually just turn it, turn it on and just kind of either listen to a podcast or do something else. And kind of have it on in the background and kind of look up at it every once in a while but biography this week Scott Hall I thought was very good and really told the story well I thought of how he got into wrestling and before he got into pro wrestling which biography is one of the shows that I do usually pay attention to quite a bit. Not like Rivals. where And I think most of the biographies have been very good. I would say there's maybe just a couple of them. A couple of the episodes that I would say maybe not that great. But most of them, I would say, have actually been pretty good. Nothing has been announced yet, but I am hoping that Most Wanted Treasures will return for another season. I think that is actually a very interesting show. Pretty entertaining. I don't know if maybe they have just ran out of things to look for or what, but I mean, I guess there's still time for another season of it to be announced. I hope so. I remember, I want to say it was the first season. So far, I believe the only thing that they haven't been able to find is the version of the WCW World Television Championship that Booker T held. I think that is the only one that they haven't been able to track down and find. And I hope they bring it back. And now on to this Monday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Let's talk about tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw, which will be live from the Toyota, sorry, the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. This past weekend on Saturday and Sunday was four weeks until WrestleMania 40. And tonight we will have a gauntlet match to determine the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship, Guthner. And some of them, they're going to be in it. Let's see. We got Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, Chad Gable, Ricochet, Ricochet. I can't talk. And I do a podcast 
where you have to talk, even though I can't talk. Ricochet, Bronson Reed, and representing the Judgment Day, we have J.D. McDonough. Also, we're going to have the Kabuki Warriors defend the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships against the Submission Magician, Shayna Baszler, and Zoe Stark. Also, Liv Morgan will be taking on the man, Becky Lynch. And that is what we have in store tonight for WWE Monday Night Raw as we get closer to Wrestlemania 40 and I'm sure this goes for a lot of people but Wrestlemania this time of year no matter what the card is no matter who's on the card I'm sure you still get at least a little excited just because it is Wrestlemania season and that's the thing now Wrestlemania week, Wrestlemania weekend it's not all just WWE anymore of course you got all the other pro wrestling events going on for example well one of them April 5th, that's going to be a very busy day. I know the whole weekend is going to be very busy, but April 5th, we have SmackDown and the Hall of Fame ceremony. Rampage, possibly on at its regular time at 10 p.m. And also Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor on that night as well. I think I said this last year... They didn't listen to me, though, but I think a good idea would possibly to be having Rampage on maybe an earlier time Friday evening, maybe 6, 7 p.m. before SmackDown starts, before Super Card of Honor starts. And I think that might help, maybe help a little bit. It definitely wouldn't hurt. It definitely wouldn't make the ratings any worse than going up against the SmackDown. And actually, in a way, going up against your own company as well. Being on the same time as the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Which they have done before when the Ring of Honor pay-per-views have been on Friday night. Which is probably the main reason you don't really hear much promotion about the Ring of Honor pay-per-views. I'm sure TNT don't want AEW promoting something else that's going to be on the same time while they're on their network. But that is all for this Monday morning episode of GMWF. Thank you everyone for tuning in today, listening, downloading, whichever you did. Hope everyone has a great Monday today. Hope everyone enjoys Raw tonight. Also, hope everyone else is excited for WrestleMania 40 coming up in just a little less than in four weeks. And I will be back here tomorrow morning for the Monday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. But until then, have a great pro wrestling day.